Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Welcome to Tip Tuesday, where we are talking all things cookie cutters. So, as you can imagine, been doing this for 10 years now. Um, I have quite the collection of cookie cutters, but I have pulled out my top 10 favorite cutters that I feel like every beginner needs that are totally essential. So, we are going to run through these and I'm going to tell you why I love them, what you can do with them, and why you need to have them in your possession. So just a reminder, I will have this linked as a blog post. Um, will be up tomorrow with the links um, for you to purchase the cutters and where to get them and how to get them and everything like that. So let's go ahead and get started with your top essential ones. Um, are these round cutters. So these are called nesting round cutters because they just fit right inside of each other. You can get these in other shapes like triangles, stars, hearts, rectangles, um, but I recommend that you get some round cutters because you will use them, trust me. You'll use them for different things from birthdays to anniversaries to parties to all kinds of stuff you will find use for. Um, this just makes me think of a snowman right now. <laughs> um, but you will use these and not only are these great, um, you can get these on Amazon. They're linked on my site, but you can, you have like your regular cutout here and then you have your scalloped cutout here for um, your cookies. So perfect for that. So love, love, love having that there for you. Um, Next is your cupcake cookie cutter. So this is a Wilton one that I've had for a really long time, um, but I always suggest getting a cupcake um, cutter that you'll not only use for um, birthday celebrations, but also you can use it for um, different events and everything that you have going on. You can use cupcakes for that, anything. You can also turn it upside down and it becomes a leprechaun um, or he can become a... Um, I think it's a pilgrim that he um, becomes, but he's got like his beard here and his hat, like he's fantastic. You can do a lot with him. Next is the baby onesie. You can use this onesie, obviously, for baby showers, coming home baby events, and it's great. You'll have, um, if you're a new cookie you're going to have lots of baby showers and baby things um, to make, and you can just lop off the bottom half, and it becomes a t-shirt. Hi, Sarah. It becomes a t-shirt, so it's great for any, like, jerseys or um, sporting events that is great for. So you just use your knife and cut the bottom off, and you have a t-shirt. So fantastic ideas for that. Okay, next is um, heart cookie cutters. So this is a Sweet Sugar Bell um, cutter. I believe this one's at Ann Clark, and then this one, um, it says Celebrate It. So I think I got this one like at Walmart or somewhere, but these, um, and it's like 99 cents. So check Walmart. They always have like great stuff, seasonal um, things that are fantastic. But get a heart cookie cutter. Not only is this great for our upcoming holiday about Valentine's Day, but it's also great for other holidays. Um, it's great for weddings, anniversary cookies, love cookies, anything like that. It is fantastic for, you can even turn it this way and you make it a, a, um, a puppy dog, like it's kind of like a puppy's face. There's so many different things that you can do with the heart cookie cutter. So that's why it's one of my very favorite cutters for sure. All right, moving on is the dress, the wedding princess dress. So obviously use this a lot for wedding cookies um, when I'm making lots of, of wedding dresses, um, but also great for bridesmaids dresses. But this is also fantastic if you have little girls and you're making princess dresses. So this works really, really great. That's why it's one of my essentials is that you can use it to make those princess dresses um, that are fantastic. All right, moving right along, this might be one of my favorites, is the ice cream cookie cutter um, that is fantastic and can be used for so many different things. So not only just an ice cream cone, obviously you can do many things with it, make it a sugar cone, the waffle cone, different flavors, of course, with sprinkles, no sprinkles, cherry on top, um, different things like that. You can also, it's just versatile, you can turn it upside down and then it becomes an elf with a little hat on it, here's his face, or it can become um, a little boy or girl with um, for a party. He's got the party hat up here. Totally versatile, many things. You can turn it back this way and it becomes a turkey face. There's lots of different things that you can use with this um, ice cream cookie cutter. All right, and then, oh, I might have lied. I might have, I might have said that the ice cream cutter was my favorite. I think this one is my very favorite one and my number one essential cutter maybe before 
maybe right after the round ones. Um, but this is the, all I can see is a pizza cookie cutter with this. So this makes a great pizza cookie cutter, especially for like um, the barbecues in the summer or someone's birthday, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle <laughs> cutters, uh, pizzas, um, probably dating myself there. But um, I'm definitely using this for Valentine's Day. You have a pizza in my heart. Um, but also you can use it in the summertime for a watermelon slice. You can use it um, for a strawberry slice. You can use it for um, different things in the fall. You can use it for a pumpkin pie. There's so many different things that you can use as a, a slice of cake. So many different things that you can use with this um, and also a candy corn. Um, so lots of different things that you can use with this um, cookie cutter here. This is also a sweet sugar bell that is here and I'm gonna link all of this in a blog post for you later. Um, and then um, a star cookie cutter. So the star cookie cutter is great for holidays, gets you through uh, Memorial Day, uh, 4th of July, all the different special holidays, patriotic holidays, but it's also great for like gymnastics cookies, they like a star, or those sports, those all, st all star sports themes um, that are great for. So you want to have a good star cutter for that as well. Um, and then last but not least are, these are called plaque cutters. These are made from um, 3D printers and they just have like the filament that has the layers of filament here that make up the cookie cutter. These are nice and sharp. These are from one of my favorite shops, Kaleida Cuts. Um, but they're nice and sharp that they're going to cut through your dough really, really well um, that I really like. And these are um, just two different shapes that I have. This one's called the Nancy plaque. A lot of people use it and it's great for to write happy birthday on. It's great to write someone's name on it and this one here as well you could do like a number one you could do she said yes so many different options so many different things that you can do with the plaque cutters but definitely get you a set of plaque cutters I one or two um, highly recommend that you get these as well so they're handy dandy um, and you will find that you'll use them quite a bit when you are a beginner so those are my top 10 favorite cutters, um, essential cutters for beginners, for those that are starting out. Where can we find a list of these, of past cutters you've used in here? Um, I don't have a list altogether just yet. I'm gonna put these all in a list with links for you and I will have that up tonight on a blog post on my website um, and I'll have that as a, as a post tomorrow that you'll be able to see and go directly to it to see which cutters um, I have how I've used them, what they're great for, and where you can purchase them. So, hope that that was helpful, that um, showed you guys just the, your top favorite ones, not to be overwhelmed, that you need to have every single cutter that's out there. I get it. I get FOMO. I want them all. I probably have way more than I need, but these will get you started and get you headed in the right direction. So, I hope that was helpful, and... Um, I look forward to seeing you guys next Tip Tuesday. So y'all have a great Tuesday. Take care.